The fact that we're not fighting about it in the street is really good. It's ridiculous that a nation like Australia still has the flag of another nation dominating its flag. I love talking about the Australian national flag. It's the best flag in the world to start with. It was chosen by Australians for Australians. It resulted from a public competition in the year 1901. There were 32,823 entries and five people came up with the identical design. You know, the rest of the world doesn't know the intricacies of Australian history. Is they just see the Union Jack, which is a very, very well-known flag around the world, and we'll just assume that Australia is in somehow uh, subordinate to Britain. I'm Ken Doan, and probably for 20 or 30 years I've been passionate about the need for Australia to have a new flag. In the World Rugby Union Cup about six years ago in Sydney, we played England. England played under the flag of St George, and Australia played under the Union Jack. It's bizarre. And yet the Emperor's got no clothes. We, we can't see it. And then when the English won, they came out with this. Get your shit stars, get your shit stars, get your shit stars off our flag. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the flag we've got. I think it's a beautiful flag and it's uh, served us well. But um, I think it gives a false impression to the rest of the world of who we are. To, to a lot of countries, we must look like a, an outpost of the British Empire, still with the British flag flying at the place of honour. We should not be seen as a colony uh, of England. There's no reason to think that uh, if we change the Australian national flag, that that would in any way be disrespectful to the, the deeds of those who have served uh, in armed conflict for this country. Canada, of course, in 1965 changed its flag and ex-servicemen now in Canada quite proudly march you know, behind the maple leaf flag. I served in the Air Force during the Second World War and of course the flag took on a little bit more significance during the war there when uh, things were pretty tough. I think that with so many uh, young people who gave their lives fighting under that flag there, I think it would be a betrayal almost of their memory. I'm of a generation of course that haven't had to put my life in danger for my country. I have the greatest respect for people involved in any, uh, any areas like that. But I'd still say it's about the love of country. To have a new flag is about loving your country. The flag design as it is is in effect exclusionary. It, it does imply that, that um, Perhaps people who aren't of British ancestry are in some ways excluded or not a full part of Australian society. The Australian national flag is an all-encompassing design because the Union section, St George, St Andrew and St Patrick's Crosses, represents the principles on which the nation is based. Parliamentary democracy, rule of law, freedom of assembly. So it is appropriate for all settlers in Australia, whatever their background, because if you have those beliefs, uh, you find compatibility here with the rest of the Australians. Well, the British part of the flag, as in the Union Jack and the flag, doesn't really, well, it makes me feel a bit like, oh, I'm not, it doesn't, it feel, it just says Anglo-Saxons only kind of feel to me, a little bit. You know, Australia now, Greeks, Yugoslavs, New Zealanders, Ethiopians, we are a perfect example of a kind of multicultural society and we have to be confident enough confident enough in ourselves to have something that symbolises and separates us from everybody else. Some people suggest just replacing the Union Jack with the Aboriginal flag. Uh, I don't agree with that, but I think we can recognise uh, the importance of Aboriginal culture in this country in our national flag and do it in a way that's sensitive to their culture. I feel very sorry for the Aboriginal people that we're wiping their faces in at the um, colonisation. I think that there should be some Aboriginal sign on the flag, but still on that emotional childlike level, I like the flag how it looks.
I think I would have liked it better if it was maybe a kangaroo or a koala or something um, because that's more, I think, more Australian than a Union Jack, to be honest. Why aren't we all calling for a flag that represents all of us equally? Look at Canada, look at the United States, look at New Guinea and say to yourself, does that represent any one group in particular or does that represent the nation? And that's what a national flag should do. It should represent a nation and never give anyone the chance to hold up a flag and say, I'm an Aussie and you're not. I'm not afraid of any backlashes um, about expressing uh, what I think about Australian flag because that's what I love about living in Australia. I, I get to have my own opinion and th this freedom of speech. The basic concept of a flag, it is the symbol of the country and therefore it has to embrace all of the people within the country, treat everybody equally and if we use these symbols, as I'm sure in the end we will, these symbols of the Southern Cross and the kangaroo were here before anybody was in Australia. So it's kind of equal. The current flag means so much to so many people that I can't see how any other design can assume and demand the loyalty of Australians.